In this video, I explain the four layer types Clip Studio has to offer, rasterized, vector, objects, and correction layers. Hello, hi, my name is N from The InSphere, your lovely guide. This is episode one of Spill the Beans art tutorial, a quick to the point series explaining CSP features. In this episode, we talk about layer types and their different functions. In CSP, there are four layer types, rasterized layers created with the rasterized layer button, vector layers created by the vector layer button, object layers created by dragging objects into your scene, and lastly, correctional layers created by going under layer and new correction layer. On to explanations. Rasterized layers, the most commonly used, are easy to understand. You're working with pixels. This also means you're losing quality when you scale your drawings down or up, as scaling up results in a blurry image and scaling down results in lost pixels you cannot regain. Vector layers, on the other hand, allows you to indefinitely scale your drawings down and up, as you're now working with paths. When you draw on this layer, you're placing down a path for the program to draw a line on. A path contains multiple points, which allows you to move the line around and edit the line width at different points. This might sound amazing compared to rasterized layers, but you are unable to blend colors when using this layer type. When using vector layers, tools you'll likely use the most are the object subtool under your operations tool, which allows you to move vector points around, and the correction line tool, which contains different subtools to further edit your line. The pinch vector line subtool allows you to push your vector line around as if you're working with liquify and lose no quality. The fix end option is to change which end of the line you would like to anchor. With the first option selected, you can push everything except the two ends. With the second option selected, you can push everything except for the opposite end. With the last option selected, no ends will be anchored. Thus, the line is freely pushed around. The pinch level changes how many other vector points will be affected by moving one, and the effect range changes how many vector points is targeted when you push them around. Simplify vector line takes selected vector points and simplifies them. The more simplified a vector line is, the less vector points there are and the less complex your lines will look, creating smoother lines and easier to control vector points as you only have to deal with a handful. Adjust line width changes the width of targeted points. Redraw vector line allows you to redefine the path of a selected line. And lastly, redraw vector line with width allows you to redefine the path and the width of a selected line. You can change a vector layer into a rasterized layer by right-clicking and selecting rasterized layer. Object layers are dedicated to housing objects. You're unable to draw on these layers. Objects in CSP are three-dimensional. By dragging in one, you automatically create a perspective ruler along with the object layer. This ruler can be enabled by right-clicking the ruler icon and selecting Show Ruler. This ruler is dynamically updated when your 3D model is moved around, and it's a quick way to set up a perspective ruler for your drawing. Object layers can house multiple 3D objects at once, and by dragging multiple in, they will all be placed in the same environment and share the same perspective ruler. Object layers are also editable with the Objects subtool under your Operations tool. With the Objects tool selected and the Object layer selected, you can select individual objects and edit their properties with the shown toolbar, or by clicking on the object itself to see if you can edit it directly. By moving your scroll wheel, you can easily change the FOV of the scene. Just like the vector layer, you can change an object layer into a rasterized layer by right-clicking and selecting rasterized layer. Correction layers are a way of non-destructive color correction. Once you create a correction layer, you're prompted with a panel to edit your desired color settings. You can always return to this panel by double-clicking the correction layer again. Changes are applied to everything below the correction layer. Let's talk about scenarios where you might use these tools. At this point in the video, I'm transitioning away from presenting information and now speak my own thoughts and opinions. Rasterized layers need no example. Sketching, painting, and 90% of your time in clip is going to be spent working with this layer type. I'm personally not a big fan of vector layers as I don't see the feature as being super useful, but there are plenty of artists I know who swear by using vector layers for line art. Features such as Vector Eraser, which is found under the Eraser tool when editing on a vector layer, allows you to easily delete overlapping lines, which drastically speeds up the line art process. The 3D layer is neat, especially when planning to draw big, complex compositions. 
I never use the perspective ruler tool as it's so much easier to just drag in a model and dynamically set up a perspective ruler by moving the model around. The ability to change your FOV with your scroll wheel is awesome and I use it if I ever need dynamic poses or very wide fields of view. Finally, the correction layers are probably one of my most used features. By group and my are into different categories, I can color correct different folder groups without needing to commit and having to undo to a previous state. I intend to keep videos in this series short and sweet, that's why I skipped over layer types like text layers and frames. If you ever need answers for CSP features, CSP comes with an instruction manual that goes in depth into different features. You can find that in the link below. If you have feedback for the show, either positive or negative, please let me know as I'm working very hard to produce informative and clear tutorials. If you like the art shown in this video, consider following me on my socials. And lastly, this video is funded by my very special supporters over at Ko-Fi. Thank you, Arion Black, Pineberry Cat, Strawblurries, Sed, and Yen. If you're ever interested in supporting me without subscribing to a monthly plan, I sell stickers on my Ko-Fi shop. Consider buying one. Bye!